So you're thinking about coming to Thailand, you think about coming to Bangkok, maybe you're stopping here for a week like I am whilst on my travels, and you wanna know how much it is you're gonna pay for a condo here, for somewhere to stay, what's it like, kind of what will you get for your money? Good news for you guys, in this video, I'm gonna be detailing exactly where I'm staying, what's included, and how much it's gonna cost for you, and cost me as well, how much it cost me. So it's gonna be a good video. This video has been requested by loads of people on my TikTok, on my Instagram, everywhere. So I'm excited to make it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you get, because you're gonna be very, very surprised. So I'm currently staying in the Krap Panong area. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll put a little screenshot up here now so you can see where exactly it is in Bangkok. It's a nice little area, man. Only 10 minutes away from the kind of train station which can take you towards the centre and all different parts of Bangkok. I'm still getting my bearings, so I don't actually know where exactly everything is, but honestly, it's crazy. And as you can see, the place that I'm staying here is called Aspire Circumvit 48. It's a perfect location. I actually really enjoy this place. I actually really like it. Um, first thing you'll see, guys, when you come here is security. As you can see, the first thing the first thing that you'll approach with is security and I kind of love seeing that because it shows me that where I'm staying is going to be safe, my belongings are going to be safe and I think these guys are 24 hours so they don't actually stop. Up. Yes man, you got to salute, you got to salute the Thais man because you know what, the Thai people are so friendly, that's one thing that I will say. Um, so as you come in here now, I'll just show you the camera. You kind of have this like walkway area, so you've got your own parking there if you've got like a moped or like a bike or something. And then as you come around to the left, you've got different towers. So you've got tower N and then up there's tower S, which is where I am. So yeah, just to give you a first little look up now, I'm just going to flip the camera and show you what it looks like just on the outside. As you can see, guys, it's a massive, massive building. And this is just at daytime. Let me show you what it looks like at nighttime. And just like that, guys, it is now nighttime. I actually prefer it in the night. I prefer Bangkok at nighttime. I don't know about you guys. I'm about to get run over here, but yeah. Wait until I show you what nighttime looks upstairs, but let's carry on with the vlog. Now, when you first kind of enter this kind of condo complex as such, the first thing that you're greeted with is something here, and it's called an all-calf station. Now, this looks absolutely amazing. Look at this all calf station and it's basically like a 7-eleven it literally is like a 7-eleven if you guys don't know what a 7-eleven is it's basically just like a kind of a corner shop in the uk you know what a 7-eleven is don't you but look at this they've got vending machines let me quickly show you so you can literally choose guys whatever it is that you want for example this is in thai let me change it to english as you can see coke regular 19 baht so if you wanted a coke it would probably cost you like I don't know, what's 19 baht? 20 p or something like that. And they also do hot food as well, guys. Look, they also do like little bits of like hot dogs and things like this. It's uh, very convenient and it's something that's like very useful to have. And they also do like a hot drink. So if you want a coffee, if you're a fan of coffee, I'm not really a big fan of coffee. I don't really drink coffee if I'm honest, but if you are, then this is even better for you. But as you see, guys, when you first walk in, this is what you've got. You've got little seating areas now. I'll just, I'll just do some kind of B-roll just so you guys can see what it's about. Basically, it's a bit kind of like a um, co-working space. So if you're into your co-working, if you're into kind of working online or remotely, these are a great kind of option for you because you can sit down on the chairs, you can sit down with the table, you can get your coffee, you can, you can do anything really. And it's nice and air conditioned in here. You can do exactly what you need to do. No distraction. It's nice and quiet as well and yeah it just looks really nice and i can't really complain so now we're just currently in the lift area guys they've got three lifts in this condo so it's perfect you're never really waiting longer than a minute or two for a lift once you call it so it's a perfect kind of situation if you're someone who always stresses about waiting around for lifts anyway so next thing now guys we're going to go up to the actual condo because i'm on floor three and then i'll take you up to the roof and i'll show you what else is on the roof because the roof is amazing and wait till you see it at night time as well guys it's unbelievable right so probably the bit you actually want to see now the actual condo itself what do you get for kind of this price point here in Bangkok what does it give you what are you allowed to have what does the room look like let me take you right inside here we are guys here we are the condo itself let me just shut the door here's a mirror so you can see me holding my big camera peace so the condo then let me just quickly show you around what we've actually got inside here first things first you'll see when you walk in on the left hand side is Loads of messy wires, but a bit like a sofa thing. This doesn't really look that appealing to me personally. Um, if it was me, I probably wouldn't have the red, the red spotty kind of cover. But this is what I like here, first thing here. This little desk set up, as you can see, I've got my laptop here, my headphones, my, my kind of um, writing pad for my ideas and stuff like that. Um, nice little setup this is, man, very nice. And on the right here, we've got my small shoe collection. These slippers right here, they actually gave you, like they literally gave us them, um, I say it also gave me them. Um, obviously I'm not going to use them because I, I don't know whose feet has been in them but it's one of them man at least they're, they're, they're kind of thinking about us 
Uh, so yeah, full length mirror, TV here, which has never been turned on. This is my little tripod for my phone. This is a lifesaver. If you're a content creator, you need to get one of these. Um, never actually sat here to watch TV, but it, it's okay. Next thing here, as we go through these sliding double doors is the kitchen, the kitchen area. Oh, sorry. So the kitchen area, first thing, got my whiteboard here with some water, the fridge here, um, a microwave, I believe that is. Let's see how full the fridge is. Oh, <laughs> the fridge is not very full at all, guys. I won't lie to you, man. Um, sink here, some Adidas bag. I didn't do any shopping. I don't know who that is. I think the guy left it here before me. And uh, yeah, just some kind of basic essentials, really. I haven't actually had to use this yet because it's very, very cheap here in Thailand. I can eat out every meal. I don't actually cook here. I don't actually have to do any cleaning up here because I'm eating out every meal. Down here, then, is just my suitcase because I'm only here for a week, so I haven't really thought about kind of unpacking as such i'm just kind of living out my suitcase for now and this is the balcony guys let's take you on the balcony let me just unlock it this is the balcony it's not bad like it's not a bad view either like at night time it looks very nice i thought it was going to be a lot worse for like the price i paid for this i was expecting a bit worse to be fair i'm very happy with what i've got and we're only just getting started like i haven't even showed you the bedroom yet. i haven't showed you the bathroom and i haven't even showed you the rooftop the rooftop's going to surprise everybody watching this video and me being an idiot i am i've only just put the lights on in here so quick look around the room now while i'm uh, let me get on the sofa actually and show you it properly little desk kitchen area Bedroom's gonna be there, bathroom's there, I'll take you there in a second. Uh, shoes, TV, I'm standing on this sofa and here I am. Aircon as well, massive, massively important. Aircon is perfect here. Can't complain about the aircon in this gaff. So next thing then, let's take you into the bathroom. Lights on because I don't wanna forget that this time. The bathroom then people, the bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom. Here I am looking very brown I must say. Uh, here, just some basic kind of stuff really, got my toothpaste, my toothbrush, my aftershave, my kind of sun cream, face cream, beard oil, all that good stuff. Hanging up here is my wash bag and my hair comb. Couple little hooks here which are quite useful. Uh, obviously a lot of toilet roll, hopefully I don't need all that because I'd be concerned if I did. Toilet, pretty standard here in Thailand, Thailand sorry. This is what they call a bum gun. If you don't know what this is, it basically sprays water. Uh, it's it literally does what it says it does. It cleans your bum, <laughs> as simple as that. So um, apparently it's very hygienic as well. A lot of people say that using one of them is a lot cleaner than just using toilet paper. So yeah, it's one of them. Uh, down here, we've actually got some water. Now I keep water down here because you cannot drink the tap water in Thailand. Make sure you know that if you are coming to Thailand that you cannot drink the tap water because the problem is once you do it, it's, it's like, it's something like to do with the fact of the pipes and all that kind of stuff so it's not safe to drink the tap water so big no-no shower then this is probably one of my favorite things about the actual apartment itself um, i love showers like this where you can just kind of walk in you don't really have to like stand in a bathtub and stuff and this is the actual shower guys so yeah nice man quite nice and modern i can't lie like the shower head i kind of i like shower heads like this like it sounds a bit like weird me saying it but i kind of like stuff like this man it's uh it's quite useful and it looks nicer, do you know what I mean? Now, let me get out of here because I presume it's very echoey in there. I'm sorry if it is echoey. Now then guys, we're about to go into the bedroom. This is where the magic definitely does not happen. Um, this is where the work happens, like literally the work that I'm doing out here in Thailand because I'm not here, you guys are coming here for a holiday. I'm here to like work and improve myself, do you know what I mean? So it's not kind of a place where I'm here just to have a party, do you know what I'm saying? But let's turn it over. I've just realized I've got my dirty washing on the bed, so I'm just gonna keep it in the video anyway. Let me show you the bedroom. And here we are, people, man. Here we are, the famous bedroom. This here is a bit like a, I guess it's like an iron, it's like a steamer. There's the dirty washing that I talked about, which needs to be washed soon. And this is the bed. I can't lie, the bed isn't very comfortable. It's quite hard, I, I won't lie to you guys. Um, but it has like a mattress topper, so it makes it bearable. You don't really notice it, to be fair. And this is the view from the window. I absolutely love this. Like waking up to this view is beautiful. As you can see, you can see the uh, sky train there in the distance. There you go. Little zoom in for you. Uh, big curtains as well, which obviously just pull over and make the room nice and dark and cozy. Uh, quickly, I've got aircon up there, which goes straight onto the bed, which is absolutely perfect. Here, we've got just uh, my spare phone, speaker, AirPods. And this is just a little bit of storage here. Uh, shorts, towels, um, just some more accessories. And then obviously like, um, what's that? Old boxes, socks, and then 
uh, my um, other Prada sunglasses, which I'm very happy I purchased in the wardrobe. Let me quickly show you what's inside here. Uh, this is just some bits that I've hung up. This is a fleece that I brought from the UK. Very nice Nike one. Doubt I'll ever wear it here in Thailand, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, down here, just a couple of spare pillows, my camera bag, my POV um, chest strap, and just some spare boxes. I don't know who those are. I presume they're the owners. And some there, my tracksuit bottoms there on the floor. But yeah, guys, very quick, very quick tour of the room. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. But I actually think this is perfect for one person. Like, this is literally perfect for the price you pay as well. You you can't complain. Like, in the UK, for what you pay for this, you, you literally wouldn't even get a travel lodge. You wouldn't even get a travel lodge. And this, you've got like a cooker, shower, towels, uh, a balcony as well. Like, people don't just have free aircon, aircon's included as well, guys. That's to mention. And also, Wi Fi is included. I'll talk about that later on in the video. But these are the things that kind of will save you money as well. And the gym upstairs, which I'm going to show you next, is also included in the price. So, yeah, guys, it's, uh, it's a bit mad when you actually think about it. But further ado, let's go upstairs and I'll show you the best part about this condo. Right then, people, here we are. We've made it to the 30th floor at the top of the actual kind of Bangkok condo where I'm currently living. This place is absolutely nuts. I'm going to quickly show you guys the gym first. I'll show you the gym and I'll show you the pool and the rooftop because honestly, it's unbelievable. Like sometimes when I come up here, I'm a bit speechless, I can't lie. Um, and I'll show you it at night time as well. Now, there was someone working out in the gym behind me here, so I didn't actually record my voice. But as you can see, it's a perfect gym. It's got everything you need, weights, cardio, a bench, um, room to do like ab workouts. And look at this view, man. Honestly, like, wait till I show you it at night time, guys. Like, wait, but look, it's just ridiculous. And for the price, I can't believe you actually get it. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane, and it? Let's not lie, let's not lie, guys. It is pretty insane. Um, to my right is the pool, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but just look at this view, man, please. And bearing in mind now, this is the daytime. Let me quickly show you what it looks like at night time. I told you guys, I told you. Let me flip the camera and quickly show you what it looks like out here. See what I mean, man? This, the blue lights come on and we haven't even got to the best part yet. So imagine you're just on the treadmill. Yeah, you're on the treadmill, da 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 da. You're thinking, yeah, man, I'm gonna get a workout in tonight. I'm gonna get a workout in. You come and stand on the treadmill and boom. You've got this amazing, amazing view. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is completely worth it in my opinion. Like, this is ridiculous. I love training here on the night time. I love being able to come up here whenever I want. I don't have to go outside. I don't have to do all these things. I can literally get the elevator up here and just train, looking at this view. How inspiring is that? Like, it's mad. Right, next then, this is the bit that you've probably all been waiting for, the infinity pool, the pool on the roof. Let me just show you now what exactly we're dealing with here. And what you'll notice behind me as well, guys, is like a bit of a chill out area. This is like a little bit of a seating area. Now, this is perfect, man. If you just want to come and sit in the shade, sit on the rooftop, see Bangkok, see the skyline. It's absolutely amazing. Like to live here would be a dream. Like I'm only here for a week, but to actually live here would be insane. So yeah, let, let me just show you the view quickly from uh, kind of what I'm seeing right now when you come out to like to this kind of um, side of the, the rooftop. Like it is unbelievable, man. I don't even know if the video is going to do justice, but if you was here in person, you'd be just as shocked as I am. Even the bathroom when you come out here, like literally, look, the pool's there, you've got like a little bathroom bit here. Even this is perfect, man. Like, look how clean it is. I don't know, like, for me, this seems like too good to be true. Look at the showers. Now, I don't know about you, but this is a better shower in here than I've got in my home in the UK. So, yeah, uh, it's a bit different out here, guys, I can't lie. But we're only just getting started. Let me go and show you the other side of the roof and let me show you what it looks like at night time. But before we do that, let me show you what the pool looks like at night time. And here we have the pool, guys. This is the infinity pool area. I'm just going to flip the camera again to show you what it's like. And you've probably noticed I've started talking a bit quieter because it's so peaceful out here. It's so quiet. Like, just look over here. This is where, like, obviously you guys remember the chill out area just. And let me just, let me just take you take you down here because this is absolutely amazing oh nearly fell over look at this peaceful man so peaceful oh my god see what i mean views man man has got views this is an absolute joke so yeah, there's the gym guys. That's the bit we were just in with the pool. And then when you come left, you go to the other side of the rooftop. 
this is just like more special I can't even lie look at this so yeah you can clearly see that the value for money here is incredible guys I absolutely love it here I wouldn't I wouldn't like I couldn't have picked a better place if I tried I'll, I'll be honest like I thought it was going to be a lot worse than what it is and when you see your expectations a bit lower then it just makes for it even better do you know what I mean it makes for the experience to be even better um, one last look at the skyline here now because this is absolutely amazing man I, I can't i can't get over it i'll be honest guys i didn't even know you could get to this side of the roof to see the kind of skyscrapers from here but let me show you this part at night time <laughs> now you guys see what i'm talking about yeah take a look at this what an absolute joke of a view now i don't know about you but i literally have never seen anything like this yeah it's just uh it's just incredible man and it's it's quite scary for what your money can actually get you here in bangkok so if you're out there on the market you're looking for somewhere to stay i'd highly recommend this place if you could get it um have a look it depends what time of year you're coming as you say i i pay for like i paid sorry 20 pound a night or just under that so it depends how long you come for obviously if you come for longer than a month three months six months you'll get it cheaper and stuff like that so definitely worth it man and yeah like i said i wouldn't have picked anywhere else if i could so yeah guys so 20 pound a night less than 20 pound a night here in bangkok this is perfect I find the area is perfect as a first time like person coming to Thailand I couldn't have asked for much more as I keep saying obviously the condo itself you've got air conditioning included in the price you've got the Wi-Fi you've got the gym you've got the, the swimming pool on the roof as well like to get this in the UK I, I, I dread to think how much this would be at night you're probably looking at 150 150 pound you pay that for like less than a week here do you know what I mean no or over a week here should I say so yeah your money goes a lot further here in thailand guys this is something i've definitely noticed i knew it was going to be cheap when i come out here but i wasn't sure on how cheap it was actually going to be i understand the locals aren't obviously earning as much as we do back in the uk which is kind of a fair point to mention but as long as you tip out there guys as long as you're friendly the thai people are lovely man i can't i can't knock them at all if you live in thailand or you're from thailand you, or you've been to thailand you'll know you know exactly what i'm talking about the people in thailand just they're just friendlier like no one's really angry here like the road the roads are so busy but the traffic like no one's really beeping nobody's really kind of effing and blinding and kind of up in people's faces everyone's just a lot more relaxed a lot of people are happy they say it's the the land of smiles isn't it so um yeah very good but yeah people i think that is it i think that is me uh thank you for watching i hope this video has gave you a better insight to where i'm staying what you can kind of get for your money here in bangkok and i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel as this video has took me a lot of effort i won't lie but um it's worth it man because this is a thing that a question sorry a lot of you guys have been asking me and i know it's, it's going to be a good video for me to make because a lot of people especially in the uk want to see this kind of stuff and uh if you can guys get out to thailand just have a look like don't you don't have to commit to live here full time just come for a month travel around see what you like see what you don't like more importantly and yeah like you hear that famous like um i say famous because i used to always watch thailand videos and i hear that um, that bird going doo -doo, doo -doo. so if you can hear that i don't even know what bird it is but it reminds me of thailand so much that noise but yeah i'm going to end the video here guys once again thank you for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you all on the next video peace